Welcome back to another episode of Reality. This is episode 13. You know the vibes. We're going to go through all the entertainment news and reality TV news first. A little later on, I'm going to be joined in the studio by dated and related stars Kaz and Kieran. Oh gosh, I love that show. I proper love that show. I've watched it in full. We'll talk about that in a bit. But first, let's get into the tea. Ray J, Ray J, Ray J. What is going on? Did you see the Instagram live this week? Ray J went live on Instagram this week and he he accused Chris Jenner. Just wait for it because the details of the story are bonkers. He's accused Chris Jenner of being the mastermind behind his explicit tape with Kim Kardashian. Whoa! Listen, let's get into this clip. Kim Kardashian got her hand right in her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two... When you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that should say sex tape number one, sex tape number two, and guess what? The third sex tape or the second they've been trying to play me on, it called Santa Barbara Sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the mother and said, hey, we're going to go with the first one because the first one is better. It gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it and made a decision. And then you get on to whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a fraud. Okay, too many allegations were made in that one clip. Number one, there was a contract? <laughs> there was a contract? Now look, obviously these are all um, claims. Bear in mind the Kardashians have denied all of this. But if true, it's bonkers, isn't it? So he's obviously claims that there was a contract which he and Kim had to sign. He claims that this contract was drafted up by Kris Jenner. Um, he's also claims that Kris Jenner made them shoot three different versions for safety. Safety? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And apparently he's also claimed that Kris Jenner went for option one because apparently that made Kim look better. Now, this is all bonkers because I don't know who to believe here. I posted a video on my TikTok about the same story and everyone in the comments is just like in two minds. Some people are like, he's lying. Some people are like, he's telling the truth. Um, Chris Jenner recently appeared on James Corden's Late Late Show where James Corden brought in a lie detector test. And as part of this lie detector test, James Corden asked Chris Jenner, did you help put out this tape? Chris Jenner said no, and the lie detector test said she was telling the truth. So I don't know what to believe. You've got to help me figure this out. I know you lot have already been commenting on TikTok, but please comment below. Use that hashtag reality with Will. Let me know what you think. Is Ray J lying or is he telling the truth? Now, the next story we're getting into is an interesting one. Friend star Courtney Cox has clapped back at Kanye West after Mr. Kanye West said Friends is a boring show. Now, this has made me, Will and Jovi, very, very upset because I've grown up watching Friends. It is, in my opinion, the best TV sitcom that has been made ever. Don't even get me started on the cast. Every single, Phoebe and her sarcasm, Chandler, Ross and the dopiness, the storylines, everything. I cannot believe he'd say that. But you know what? Actually, is it the best sitcom? What do you reckon? There are other good sitcoms that were made in the 90s or the noughties, like Eight Simple Rules. Please tell me you know about Eight Simple Rules of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Really, really good. But come on. Friends is the OG. And as you know, I like to get your opinions, your views on what you think. You know what I think? And the first voice note we've got in is from Thomasina. Just say. There's a lot of things you can call Friends, but boring is not one of them. It is a proper 90s sitcom. The dynamic between the characters is amazing. And do you know what? It's still relatable to this day. It is relatable. I love Friends. Do you know what? For me, Friends was that show where whenever I didn't want to go to school, I would, well, not call it sick. I'd tell my mum I'm unwell and just sit, sit at home and watch Friends. It's an evergreen show. However, there has been some criticism recently of Friends and people were complaining and saying, actually, there isn't a black person on this show. I'm like, do you know what? You're right. <laughs> like, and it's actually quite bad to be fair. I didn't realize this. Um, and I know the maker of Friends has spoken out about this and they've kind of apologized, but I didn't think about that back then, you know, when I was watching Friends about the lack of diversity in it. 
I think, in my opinion, that comes down to the writers and the creators of the show all being white and none of them being black. So they probably didn't know how to write about a black person's experience or diversity in media was just so terrible back then. But I mean, other than the, the poor diversity issues that that show's had, I do feel like Friends is the number one, number two, number one sitcom ever made. Right, we've got a voice note in from Gemma. Kanye West has absolutely no business trying to tell us what's funny and what's not funny. Friends has won six Emmys. It's been nominated 62 times for awards. I think that speaks for itself. The awards says it all. And do you know what's so funny? When I put the call out on my TikTok and on my Instagram to say, look, guys, what do you think about Friends? Like, is it a yes or no? Everyone got back saying it's a good show. Like, I was trying to be balanced here. I was saying, you know, if anyone wanted to come out of the woodworks and say, Will, <laughs> you know, Friends is a bad show, I'd be like, look, I'll play it. But no one said it's a bad show. But yeah, let me know what you think. Are you a fan of Friends? Is Kanye right? Is Friends boring? Say the right answer. Use that hashtag reality with Will. Or just DM me on Instagram, man. That's at reality with Will on the ground. Uh, the next story we're getting into is about dating and related on Netflix. You know, I've been watching this show religiously since it dropped. I've watched all 10 episodes now, by the way. I'm very much up to date. So happy that I can, I'm not going to spoil it. I was about to say who won. I'm sorry. I get in so much trouble, you know. <laughs> I do this on the radio. I do this on this show. People are like, Will, why did you spoil it? For example, when I, <laughs> gosh, I think it was on the night of the Love Island finale when um, Ekansu and Davide won and I posted it. I was getting dragged, you know. People are like, well, why would you spoil it? But anyways, Kieran and Kaz, two of my favourite people on the show, um, were very vocal about the passing of their mother and how it's actually brought them closer together as brothers. Now, for me, I said this to them when I met them, that was the best piece of representation I have seen on reality TV. Number one, two black men on reality TV being vocal about their emotions, allowing themselves to be vulnerable was something that I just loved because I don't see that a lot. So this to me was the first. And just kind of owning their experiences. And I feel like that's gonna help a lot of people. So look, a lot of people online have been praising Kieran and Kaz, you know, for being so bold and open about how they've dealt with the passing of their mum. So I kind of wanted to ask you how you deal with grief. Grief is a very interesting one for me because I actually lost my father when I was at uh, my, what was this, last year of university. So just picture this, you know, final year of uni. Um, oh, gosh, last year of university. I think how many months did I have to go? I think I had like four months to go. Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional talking about this now, but four months to go until the end. Really wanted to graduate, studying media, loved the course. And then I just got that news that my, my father has sadly passed away. I said, how do I even navigate through all of this? I was living in a flat, love these boys, by the way, of like four really good housemates, still talk to the boys now. Um, and we always used to party, enjoy ourselves, live life and everything. And I, obviously, you don't know, I love laughing. I'm such a loud character. And that's just me. That's just Will. But because of that, I didn't really want to affect the mood in the flat. I kind of just stayed to myself. I kept myself to myself. So I internalized that grief for a long time, actually. Yeah, I think I just internalized it. And there was one point where my mum or my brother had found a letter that my dad had written to me years ago. And I just read that letter and I cried like a baby. And I think that's when I let it out, when I started to speak about it. And there was one point where I made a video on Twitter. It was Father's Day. Because Father's Day, I always brush past it. I'm like, oh, I just don't want to think about it. There was one time I made a video on Twitter and I started speaking about how, um, you know, there are some people who don't have a father on Father's Day. And I spoke about that and that really helped me. So eventually speaking about it helped me. But I did internalize it in the beginning. So I wanted to ask you lot, um, how do you deal with grief? Uh, Patrick has sent in a voice note. Here's what he's had to say. Hi, Will. Thank you so much for asking this question. Um, to me, to be honest, grief is a very uh, difficult subject to talk about because it's something that is uh, very personal and is internal. Um, and 
I tend to internalize grief most of the time. And one of the reasons why is because um, it's hard to process, right? So you have so much emotions, you're a little bit confused, um, you're sad, uh, someone can be angry at the same time, and there's a bunch of different emotions involved. So what I normally do is just um, take a time off and, and, and relax and uh, process, allow myself to feel the emotion, uh, but not to be in there for too long that it affects my day-to-day -day life. But I will give myself time to feel the emotion. But I wouldn't speak about it publicly. Uh, the maximum I probably would do is speak to my therapist about it. Yeah, I think therapy is a really, really good option, Patrick. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, I guess it's just about taking time, isn't it? And kind of doing things on your own terms. And not feeling like you have to speak about it to somebody or just kind of like dealing with it. And then maybe speaking to anybody, whether, it, whether it's a friend, family or whatever, um, until you're ready. We've got another voice note in from Gemma. I think it's great that Kieran and Kaz are so open about the passing of their mother and how they're dealing with it. Because there are so many people out there in the same boat and I think it will make them feel less alone. I personally, I probably keep things more internal, but that's just me and I appreciate the people that are speaking out about it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I kept it internal for quite a while, but seeing Kieran and Kaz on that reality show, on Dating and Related, being so open about it and being so vocal for me was like, wow, like, you're helping a lot of people. So I really, really appreciated that. We've got another one in from, from David. Grief will often keep it internal. Um, I feel like when I'm at that stage of, you know, um, letting it go, it's usually close to like the acceptance stage when I realise that this grief that I'm going through, I have to accept it. Yeah, I guess it's, it is, it, it does get to a point, doesn't it, where you kind of just feel like, you know what, I want to try and move forward with my life. But, but like I say, Kieran and Kaz, big up to you two for just being so open, so bold. And this is why they say diversity in TV is important. Getting characters in dated and related like themselves, for me, was just so refreshing. That's why it was a good watch. Now, you lot know, it's around about now when I start talking about what we're watching. Come on, I've given it away. <laughs> cool. As we know, spoiler alert, Kaz and Diana won Data Related. Let's give them a round of applause, please. Thank you. Kaz, Diana, thank you very much, Kaz and Diana. And yeah, I kind of liked their relationship a lot, actually. I feel like from the beginning, we could definitely see that they were a match made in heaven. From when Diana started crying on episode one because she wanted um, Kaz's attention and all that stuff. Now, since this show dropped on Netflix, the one question I've been seeing on the World Wide Web, on social media, on TikTok, is are these couples still together? Alara and Kieran, Kaz and Diana, are they? We don't know, but we're about to find out because I caught up with Kaz and Kieran in this studio a couple of days ago and they spill all the tea. Hey guys, it's Will with you and welcome to my brand new show, Reality with Will and Jovi. You can find us on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. Please give us a follow. We're going to have a lot of fun on the show, actually. So the Instagram handle is Reality with Will. On YouTube, you can find us and just search Reality with Will or Reality with Will and Jovi. And on TikTok, just search at Will underscore N-J-O. And we are back talking dated and related right now. I'm joined by Kat and Kieran, everybody. Hey! Loving the energy, loving the energy. <laughs> And I was so close to saying uh, you're fresh from the south of France, but you're not because this was kind of recorded like a year ago, was it? Yeah, man. Literally yeah. a year ago. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it must have been hard, like, sitting on this for a year. It's just like you're walking around the streets and I'm going to be a big reality star in a year's time. You, you lot are all going to know my face <laughs> <laughs> in a year's time. How was that for you? Yeah. Just like keeping it all in? Uh, that was crazy because I, I can't lie. When you're when you're sitting at work, I'm at my desk and I'm sitting like this, and my manager's you like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> "You don't know who I yeah. am. I know, you know who I'm about like, to be. Yeah. Uh, can you just make sure that's done for me?" I'm like, mm, "You, do that. <laughs> <laughs> you wait. Just give me, give me, give me eleven months. Give me eleven months. <laughs> Five more months. Yeah, three more yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, months. Goodbye. Just, it's just a yeah. countdown. Yeah. yeah real, that's the same with me. You know when you're going into a fire, you're just kicking in the door, and you're like." You know who you're being saved by right now? <laughs> 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 Literally, and you like, are you from Essex? 
Uh, London. Yeah, yeah, London. yeah, yeah. So this is where it gets complicated because, yeah. mm. like, because where we live is on the border of Essex and London. Like, so everyone, the minute we tell people where they're, we're from, like, they're like, oh, no, you're from Essex. And we're like, we just give up. Yeah. We just say, oh, you know what, we're from Essex. Yeah, it's basically just easier. From Essex. Yeah, it's just yeah. easier. It's just easier. Wow. Yeah. So when you did stop filming the show and you landed back in London, what was it? How did it feel like just being back <clears> here <throat> after all of that in the south of France? You know what? You go from being in somewhere where that's bright lights, like mm. the, the view, you're on top of the world. And then it just sort of like, it hits you, you're like back to reality. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah. you kind of miss it. You want to yeah. go back there, you want that feeling. Because then there's the villa, yeah. and then yeah. you're just seeing the red buses in London. It's like, yeah. what is <laughs> even that? The it's raining, you're like, <laughs> why I is mean, it raining? it rains over there, it's like, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. It's, it's like, oh, it's thank still you. Sunny yeah. <laughs> that villa did look really nice oh. though. Whoa. Oh, no, it Listen, was, wow. That villa was unbelievable. Yeah. It was like five floors. It was up again. Five floors? Yeah, five floors. It was like, it was crazy. It was insane. Wow. Insane. Mm. Wow. Um, yeah, man. We didn't even get to explore most of it. I yeah, think we man. was there for like two, three weeks and we yeah. didn't even get to explore. That's a long time yeah. to be on a show. Yeah, mm. for real, for real. So, yeah, coming off of it, it was a bit like, it was just, everything was just so surreal. But you, it's so kind of intense in there because, like, you, you don't know the time. Mm. Like, yeah. they don't let you, you know don't know anything. the time. You don't no. know the time. You don't know, like, the dates. They don't really tell you anything that, like that because they want you fully zoned in and what you're doing and, and the whole situation's in there. So yeah, it's so crazy, yeah. man. But yeah. so yeah. when you come out of there, it's like, it, um, yeah, it can go, sometimes it can go downhill for people apparently because like mm. where you're so wrapped up in that little world, it's yeah. like you come out and then you're like, yeah. bang, yeah. Like, what happened? Like, so <laughs> yeah, but fortunately we was good, man. And the teams are good, amazing, amazing yeah. flicks as well, so. Yeah. So like, how did this come about? Was it just like a random DM on Instagram? Did someone just stop you in the street? Like, how yeah. did you get casted? <laughs> What happened? It was yeah, with him. Yeah, no. It's basically, yeah, someone reached out, casting producer reached out to me and was like, you know, we think you'd on be Instagram. perfect. Yeah, on Instagram. Wow. Was like, so, so set the scene where you just, what, were you at home that day? <laughs> were you just like, I'll what set, were you doing? I set the scene, yeah. It was about, you know, 20 degrees outside. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> no, basically just chilling. Um, saw my DM go and I was like, oh, who's this? I was like, oh, like. You know, so mm. we looked at her page because you know you sort of get them and you're like, yeah, oh, you have to check yeah, it out yeah, properly. Yeah. But um, no, funny enough, we had the message come through and then also I got a text as well because mm. we had previously done Celebs Go Dating. Yeah. So mm. we've done another show and they, you know, they do use people from those. So they casted us for that. Yeah. Um, they casted us and they said, look, she rang me up and was like, oh, you know, we've got this show coming out. Mm. Can't tell you too much about it. Um we think you would be perfect and your brother, you know, let's get you on board with it. And I was like, yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's go yeah. for it. <laughs> and then he come and told me. And yeah. then I was like, mm, yeah, like, I don't know, doing another show, like, it's got to be a big one. I was yeah, like, I don't really want to yeah, do yeah. no small show. Like, yeah. so, and I thought, oh, let, and I thought, oh, just see what they say about it. And then, so yeah. the minute they said, it was like, look, we can't really tell you too much, but, you know, it it's one of the- It runs with It's one of the, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's one of the biggest yeah. streaming platforms on the in the planet, but, you know, it rhymes with Betflix. We can't tell you any more than that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's do it. <laughs> like, let's do it. Wow. Yeah. And this show, I want to make it clear, because when I tell people about dating and related, because I have watched it and obviously like I love it, people are like, so what? Siblings are just dating each other. <laughs> no. What no, in the incest no, is going on no, there? No, there's no incest. <laughs> there's no incest. <laughs> So obviously you lot were wing manning, wing manning each other on the show. Yes. But I just get the vibe that this is something you've had experience in for, from before the show. I can see that you lot go on crazy nights out. You yeah. do this anyways. Like you didn't need, this wasn't awkward for you two. No, uh, we literally, like we do everything together. Like we got, we yeah. are not inseparable, but we actually just have that like, same friends. You seem very in sync. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, exactly. So in terms of when we go out, we just have, such a good vibe. We yeah. don't care about like who's gonna be there. Yeah. yeah. We just care that it's us and our friends and that yeah. we're just gonna hit and then people just get drawn to that. It's yeah. like infectious. Yeah, we are. Like so, we, the thing is that like, we could walk into a place and then like instantly I would know like who's for him and who's not for him. Really? Or, like, yeah, or I will latch on to like look onto a girl's eyes that's looking at him and I'll be like, she's eyeing you up, bro. Like, like. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> also you can just see like that. Yeah. It's like yeah. A, yeah. yeah. And mm. I'm like, and then and it's like, do you know what I mean? And later on in the night, I don't know, we might get talking and then I'll just say, Oh, like I see you eyeing up my brother. Like, and then she'll be like, Oh yeah. He's nice. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah. it's like, it just goes from there. So it's, it's quite, it's, oh, yeah. So you've yeah. not been putting in the work from before. Oh, oh, it one, just comes listen, natural. We've been, <laughs> hey, listen, we've been doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing this. You know what I'm saying? But what happens if you two like the same girl? Like, has that happened before? Or is it kind of like... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. We just kind of, we're kind of easy going and yeah. laid back about that. Like, we, we, haven't, just... we haven't had someone that's just been like, 
you know, they've said, oh yeah, your brother, your yeah. brother's fit, yeah, and yeah, yeah, you're yeah. fit, or but they've always said, you know, I'm better looking or he's better looking. So yeah. we've had the one or either the either or, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But, but yeah. I think I think if it comes down to a girl that actually likes or that one girl we actually like, like we'll just. But like, or one of us will just be like, right, just, just do what you think, do your oh, thing. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But we've had situations where no, girls, you take her. You take yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, nah. But we have had girls. Even that, or she's going in the trash. <laughs> yeah, she's going in the bin, bro. Little, it's Kobe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thanks. But no, it does. It. Just, we've had situations where like I've been talking to a girl before, and then she's mm. gone and talked to him like a, like a year later or something. And, yeah. But it is, is, is what it is, and mm. everyone's entitled to do what they want to do, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sure you've been in scenarios because you're twins, they're like, yeah. well, I've had one, might as well just have the second one. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no. You know what? <laughs> you know, so, am I Whoa. lying? I mean, I'm, has it happened? <laughs> no, you know what? It hasn't. It hasn't. We've had. Um, we had... <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe right. that. Hey, I don't that believe, believe it. <laughs> Carlton, Carlton, stop it. <laughs> <him. laughs> no, we, we've had girls that have basically been sort of, might have been talking to one of us and shown a bit yeah, of interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then has been like, oh, no, actually, you know what? I kind of. I like you a bit better or seen us out and yeah. started talking to us more mm. like um so I was just like yeah it's not really gonna go anywhere yeah yeah you know yeah. then then the talking stage yeah, or you literally. might end up like having a little kiss or something yeah. like that no, but yeah, it can just... only go so far yeah. man once you've been in the like yeah. talking to one of us it's only gonna go so far mm. like you know what I mean and then and some girls get upset about that and you're like what calm down what? <laughs> you, know what I mean? you should know that from the beginning you should know that from the jump <laughs> like what no okay <laughs> <laughs> no, go cool. back to the show. Uh, Kaz, you had your eyes set on on, on Karina, like right. This this was like right. Was this episode one? I think. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Early, yeah. early, early episode, and I mean, you yeah. went on a date. When you yeah. say, I mean, <laughs> are you trying to deny what I've just said? No. Well, it, were your eyes it, not set? I had I had my eyes on on Diana. Yeah. Um. Obviously, Karina. She's a very attractive girl. You know, she's got a great personality, and mm. she has got a lot of qualities that I do like she's very sporty as well mm, and you know mm, mm. comedian like I say comedian wise she makes me laugh mm. like so that is that's a good uh, trait to have mm. but um, in my eyes you know and what I've previously sort of gone for terms like girls wise type wise and stuff like Diana was like first on my say list that's what I was saying you're like yeah, top yeah, of the yeah. table yeah. Yeah. Like, you know Premier League <laughs> like, <laughs> yo <laughs> Premier <Yeah>. League <laughs> Yeah, and um, I just I was like I just want to see wanted to see where it goes, and it kind of gave me the great opportunity to see where things would or what things would be like with Karina yeah. when we went on a date. Yeah, and having my brother there was you know was was great as well because I was in there. But wasn't it awkward? Street, it was, wasn't it awkward having her brother there as well? Uh, Joey, <clears throat> I think you know, you know what I, I don't know. Was it awkward for you? I don't know. Like, you know what I kind of. It was it was kind of as a group, so it was kind of more like friends yeah. in that sense. But so they're not like... really because her brother's still there. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. yeah, it appears like this, but in her head she's thinking, yeah, don't mess around. You think don't mess around with my sister. <laughs> so it, it was a weird dynamic. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was. It was. It was especially being straight off the bat. You're going into it, uh, both of you. You know, us two with her and her brother. It was, it was great because we had good banter and everything. Everything was flowing. And then obviously Kieran and Joey left, and then it was me and Karina. So then it was mm. like you, we had we had that bit of a one on one time. So you got to know each other a bit deeper and yeah. find out a bit more, get a bit of chemistry. But then I think romantically wise, it just wasn't happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on that same night was pretty much well on, on the show. But pretty much when you, when you kissed Anna. Yeah. <laughs> now. Th- this all happened on the same night. So I was like, wow and wow. Because you've now got to explain to, to Mr. Joey over there <laughs> that, that not only have you just, you know, gone on the date with his sister, yeah. but you've now kissed another girl on the same night. You took his sister on a date in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> Which is all because I, I mean, can see how awkward it was when you had to not only tell, yeah. tell her, yeah. but again... <laughs> brother, yeah. which makes it really messy. Yeah. So, how was that for you? That whole dynamic. Um, I mean, as you could uh, tell on the show, it was very awkward. <laughs> yeah, awkward as I've hell. never, I've never been put in that situation before in my life. Like, yeah. when have I ever got to explain to a girlfriend? Oh, not girlfriend. Sorry, a girl's Ooh. brother. I know. Yeah, yeah. A girl's brother. Throw out the G word like that. Yeah, no, don't, yeah. Don't, yeah. Careful. <laughs> I'm just gonna get out. Of that. <laughs> um, just a girl's brother that. I kissed another girl, like, 
that will never happen. So mm. it was a, yeah, it was definitely a, a weird situation to be in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kieran, you were obviously with with Nina at one point. So, yeah. uh, and it kind of made sense. It was like, you know, mm. twins, twins, sorted. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel was. like, yeah, what, what what drew you to her in the beginning? Let, let's just take a step back. Uh, I, I, she's, she, my type, I like, I like brunettes, dark hair mm. girls, like, um, you know, I like, like Mediterranean girls. So it's like, it's it was kind of, I don't know, it was just, seeing her come down, it was like, it just, it, it was, not not meant to be as such, but like of course they came down the stairs and we was just like yeah of course like yeah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. it was a no brainer for us to and obviously they're stunning girls as well and uh, and yeah we just we just clicked instantly as soon as we sat down we spoke to them it was like yeah. I, I don't even even before we spoke to them I still think we just like knew it was gonna be like yeah. you know yeah. what I mean so yeah we sat down spoke to them got along so well and obviously they lived in London as well we lived in London so it was. It was it was easier going forward to see where things could go. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, in that sense. So, um, so yeah, and then yeah, we hit it off, man. We did hit it off. Yeah, and then there was Alara. Yes. So, Alara, like, that's... I feel like in the beginning you were kind of staying, you were sticking to your guns, <laughs> weren't you? In the beginning you were sticking to your guns. You're like, no, Nina, no, 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 no. But actually, Alara put it on you. She stuck yeah. it on me nicely. So she stuck it on you. Like, for real. and you eventually just, you, you eventually just freed it up. Hey, uh, listen, uh, you know what? And you gotta respect the girl that knows what she wants, and she just, you know, she goes and gets it. Like she shot, she shot a shot, and she, yeah. she got what she wanted. So. I think it was, yeah, it's, sometimes it comes down to persistence. Like, yeah. she didn't give mm. up. And obviously, you know, things didn't work out between me and Nina, which obviously gave, uh, you know, it, it, it gave me the, the, the thought of just thinking, you know what, yeah, of course, let's give Alara a chance. Like, yeah. Alara, mm. she came in, like, all guns blazing. She was one of the spiciest bombshells. Like, she just came yeah, in and was yeah. like, she was like, I'm coming for your man, <laughs> Nina! <laughs> like, so, yeah, she done her thing, man. She done her thing. Mm. But the way things ended with you and Nina was... Oof, it was a lot. Mm. Yeah, it was it was rocky. It was rocky for a long time as well. Like it was rocky, but yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, there was how rocky. Like no communication, walking past each other. Yeah. So like even we was walking past each other for for ages, just walking. It was it was awkward, and everyone else could feel it as well. That yeah. was the worst thing about there was, like, a, there was a bit of tension in the air. There like... was so much tension, and that, like there was a massive elephant in the room. I think even at one point, like even because so, you go in the bathroom, and you're brushing your teeth, so like you go in there and like. I'll go in there I'll, I'll, and I'll see Nina in there and I'm like, oh crap, what? Mm. Like, yeah. I don't even want to go and brush my teeth now because I'm like, I'm seeing yeah. her in there. And I'm like, no, nah, it's all right, it's cool, just go brush your teeth in it. But then we're standing there and silence is like, all we can hear is <laughs> the electric toothbrushes. Just, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Like, there's a mirror in front of us and we're like, avoiding eye <laughs> contact. Like, I'm looking everywhere but her, like, it's so mad. But yeah, it was, it was very awkward and it ended rocky, but in the end, you know, obviously, yeah. I can't mm. really tell you too much about the end, but you know. And there was a point where I feel like, you know, they were basically fighting for you. Your ego must have been like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ladies, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies, please, like... Yeah, man. No, it was obviously in in, the, in a situation like that, in a villa like that, you're, you, you, you do want to be in a position like that where you get to, like, take, take the choice and you want someone to be, like, do you know what I mean, after you as well. So, um, yeah, I was in a fortunate position and I was grateful for it. And, yeah, they... Yeah, they they were scrapping, but I feel like it's still love between them two yeah. as well. So, mm. and uh, it it was it was it was spicy competition, but healthy competition yeah. at the yeah, same yeah. time. Like so, um, but I think yeah, Nina just Nina's Nina's like Nina just couldn't really handle the the triangle, shall I say? Even though mm. there was no triangle, do you know what I mean? So yeah, but fair play to her, fair play. Yeah, yeah and let's fast forward to the end now. <laughs> obviously, you both made the finals. Obviously, you won. Yeah. Uh, with Woo! With, with, with Diana, of course, and you, and, you, and you still made it to the finals. That's it, that's it. Uh, This show was filmed a year ago. <laughs> a year so ago, So I just yeah. want to know, has anything changed? Are you lot still in your relationships? <clears throat> and, and let's not forget, you know, you said you loved her. Mm. You said you loved Diana, you know, you, you yeah. asked her to be your girlfriend. Yes, yes. So where are we now? Um, yeah, so me and Diana are... We're still sort of, we're talking basically because there's a lot that happened. Is she still your girlfriend? <sighs> Unfortunately, we haven't actually said anything. So we actually haven't had the proper discussion about it. But, so but you this are is still where, in there though. I know. This is the thing. So 
I asked her to be my girlfriend. I said that I loved her, and I did. Mm. Obviously, every, like everything was so intense in there. You're seeing from day one. Yeah. You know, you're you, you meet a girl. You don't always. You know, you don't go to bed with them, and then you might do, but uh, you don't go to bed <laughs> yeah. and then wake up with them and stay with them for like three weeks. You know, yeah. day in, twenty four seven, in out. It just got it got very intense. So it yeah. was a lot to take in, but we were. I was open to it. She was open to yeah. it, and we just. You know, we uh, I reassured her. We made that the relationship was obviously secure inside the villa. Inside, yeah. And then coming outside of it was, you know, it's a different story. You've got a lot more going on. I've got, you yeah. know, going back to work. Yeah, uh, yeah, Family yeah, commitments. Course, yeah. And we had a lot of, like, family issues that was going on, mm, uh, me yeah. and my um, Kieran. Mm. So it was like that also got involved in it. So, it, yeah, it was just kind of like we saw less and less of each other. But any time that we sort of, you know, did see each other, it was all love. We still like sort of obviously kept in contact yeah. and message, make sure that obviously everyone we was okay. And <clears throat> that was the main thing. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, so we kind of never had that like full on discussion, you know, and yeah. said like, this is ending here. Yeah. Um, but here's it ended. Are you seeing other people? I, I'm not seeing anyone at the moment. I'm not Have seeing, you seen other people since? I've, I've been, I've had communication with girls and, yeah. you know, I've spoke to a couple of people, but... It hasn't been, you know, it hasn't gone into anything further. serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. It's just been like sort of talking stages and stuff. I've sort of been just within the year. I've sort of just been focusing on myself. Yeah, that's um, important. Trying to nurture mm. myself, uh, self love and everything, mm. because <clears throat> I feel like that is very important, mm. especially in my career and uh, you know the job and everything that I've yeah, gone into. Sure. It's something that you definitely need to take care of. And mm. as guys, we don't really talk about it, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Facts. yeah, yeah. So, so, am I correct in saying that you two are not together? <laughs> um, okay, so we're not, but we are, you know, we're excited to see what happens in the future because yeah. it, we're in a, we're in a totally different place now. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like with you two, like work with you two, you two have like two different lives as well. Like he, he works like longer hours and yeah. he works days and he works Which nights Which is fine. Well. You can yeah. be friends. You can just yeah. like banter yeah. and stuff. Yeah. 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 But I feel like obviously with this coming about as well, I feel like it's probably like they, they've been in contact and then now they're like, you know, I feel like they've, they're still, they've got a lot closer, like even yeah. Still, yeah. the love's still there, isn't it? So. Yeah. Mm. And that, I guess that's the most important thing, just kind yeah, of like facts. doing it on your own pace. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed yeah. to doing it on, on, on a TV show. Yeah. What yeah. about you? Facts, facts, facts. Um, yeah. I feel like. Um, Are you single? Yeah, I'm single. I'm single. Yeah, yeah, still single. So, yeah, I feel like with with me, my situation, as I said, like we had like our family issues and that. So, obviously, I <clears throat> we had like our, our mum pass away in 2020. So, sorry to hear. It that, was yeah. like, yeah. So, that's alright, no problem. Um, we we obviously done done the show and like we we come back and obviously it was kind of what was that the first anniversary, wasn't it? Like, oh, it was yeah. the first anniversary. So it was more or less we kind of. Although where we were so wrapped up in in the show, obviously we came back and then that was real yeah, life. Because you were like in a bubble. Exactly, yeah. and then everyone else around us, all our family and stuff, was still like, like not ce like celebrating it, and they were still like grieving and stuff. So we was kind of like making sure we come back and we made sure we went to see we'll see all our family, spend time with our friends and stuff, and then, um, so yeah, it was it was it was mad because you come and as I said like, like we said earlier like that that's not real life. So mm. when you come back, it's like you're yeah. hit with so much stuff it's like oh you really need to think like oh my gosh like yeah this actually happened and that's real and you need to spend time with your family and then the people that yeah they was excited for us to go and do what we got to do but then it's yeah. like we still had to come back and be there for our family and stuff and like <laughs> my mom's friends and stuff so it was it was it was a it was a it was a massive like slap to the face when we got mm, back so yeah. it was just like i feel like we needed to kind of just like Make sure we was there for each exactly. other and just yeah. like, do you know what I mean? And home in and everything. And, and can I just say that I, the one thing that I loved about this show was just the representation of your brotherhood and like how you weren't afraid to almost be affectionate as brothers. Yeah. And, and that's honestly, that's like, it was refreshing because I don't usually see that from black yeah. men on TV. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. This is like, and from like from London, like, this yeah. is really, really good to see. Yeah, yeah. And I think even like how you two opened up about like the passing of your mother mm -hmm. and how that brought you two closer together. Yeah. Like, and that and it, vulnerability is power. So like yes, seeing that, you yeah. guys both speak about that was just great and phenomenal. Mm, so yeah. thank you. kudos yeah, to you guys, that. man. Yeah. Yeah, thank we you. had a lot of um, <clears throat> uh, messages afterwards and people saying that, you know, you use repping and mm. you know you definitely opened up yeah. and you guys were carried yourself yeah. well yeah yeah yeah, and, uh, yeah it so did. that was amazing it, it to played see a massive well. part yeah. and obviously mum mum passing it played a massive part in us going forward because 
it, we don't really have a big family. Like we no, no, we have yeah. like cousins and stuff, but we don't really talk to them much. We've got uncles and stuff. We don't really talk to them much. Like so going forward, like once that happened, it was literally just us two. So when we was like uh, that day it happened, yeah. that night it happened, we was at the hospital. It was like it was like we literally said like uh, like literally standing by her. It was like it's it's us two. Like yeah. it's just us two. So yeah. we was like we take every opportunity we have. We stick by each other. We talk about stuff like never hide anything from each mm. other. Like so yeah, I think even going into that it made us even stronger. So. And obviously, as like has said, like men, as men, we don't really talk about stuff like so. Don't, yeah. You should be, you don't be like, you're not alone. So don't, don't be, always just open up. Like no matter who yeah. it is, find someone, talk to someone. Yeah, you know, like so. even that just gets you. Like, when you just sort of think about it, it's like you take that moment in. Yeah, facts. And, facts, and I think yeah. she is going to be proud of you and your family is going to be proud of you because what you guys are doing is just, I think you've underestimated that, like the power of the communication. Like speaking yeah, about that yeah, was yeah. so yeah. powerful yeah. on yeah, TV. Yeah. I said, whoa, like I've never like, seeing this type of representation so it's yeah. so so important yeah, yeah facts. so thank important you. thank you and thank like you. The, the nation's loving you and we were talking earlier before about how like this show one thing i love about netflix shows is that people from all around the world, world are watching yeah. germany yeah. brazil <laughs> big love big love to yeah. everyone around the world <laughs> God, you man. so not only like have you got your you know your girls in the UK, you've got girls yeah. from all around the world who must be DMing you, and people are like, are you still in a relationship? Are you yeah, getting that yeah. now? Are you getting oh people message God. you? Yeah. Say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we, so many. We have are so... you replying to the DMs, lads? <laughs> I, I don't. Oh, of course you are. Like she's no. nice. Let's reply. Back. <laughs> <laughs> You're filtering out, filtering, filtering, filtering. It's a filter uh, system. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> No, we literally, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been replying to sort of anyone, anyone that's sort of, you know, given us a lot of love. We've just basically been uh, showing a bit of love back. And yeah, there's been, I'm not the most social, like yeah. compared to my brother, like mm. he's on social media, like he will, he's that type of person. He knows what to say and mm. does all this sort of things. So it's like, for me, it's overwhelming. I'm just like taking my time with you. I'm going through like, like, you know them, like yeah, <laughs> when you yeah, get older, yeah, you get your glasses yeah, yeah. out and just, <laughs> yeah. like one finger, that's just out going out. Yeah. The dad, the dad, yeah. the dad look. Okay, yeah. But, yeah, no, we have, we, we've had received so much love from like Brazil, Morocco, yeah, yeah, South yeah. Africa, like Croatia, Latvia, mm. like, but like oh, Latvia, you, what? You, you everywhere, see, like Israel, all sorts. Israel, like, like it's been it's so, crazy. it's insane, it's actually insane. So we've, we've, we've really like, um, yeah, we've just, we've, like just taking time to take it all in. Yeah. Um. Obviously, we can't reply to every single person, like we, because it's just impossible, man. Yeah. Like, we've been getting thousands of messages, but yeah, everyone has felt the love and felt the bond between us, and and, and like even just. We've had messages about everybody else on the show mm. as well, saying how like great like Nina's been, Alara's been, Diana like, and like Jayla like like loads even the US lot as well. So mm. yeah, it's been crazy, and and we just appreciate every minute of it. But yeah. we 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 yeah we can't. It's impossible to reply to everyone, but uh, as much as we'd like to, but yeah, yeah. We, we feel the love. Yeah, yeah, and you lot obviously you went back to work after, and now I guess your colleagues have seen what you've done. Did you tell them, your colleagues? <laughs> you didn't tell them. Yeah, how did you get time off work and everything? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, technically, right, it's because, okay, so it kind of came about where it, 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 I say, you know what, and this is kind of why I say, like, like I don't know, mum was kind of looking out for us kind of thing, because we was off, obviously, where it would happen around the same time as, uh, obviously, like, our mum was aware that, so it was kind of, like, st stressful, so, mm. yeah, um, yeah. So, have, mm. have work been, like, hold on? When was this recorded? Uh, well, they don't really know. <laughs> they don't know. But yeah. But they'll know now, they'll know no. now. All right, so yeah, so like, yeah, so we was basically off because of obviously our mum and stuff. So, and the opportunity come then. Yeah. So when we was already like off, it kind of made sense yeah. to do yeah, it. Yeah, and you're so a because like, yeah. you were off work. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. They, so, they didn't know basically. Yeah, base, yeah, kind of what happened was, obviously we, we're two different jobs. Mm. You know, he works in banking and I'm a firefighter. So in that that's sense- That's so cool. Mm. Uh, thank you. That's yeah. so, it's like Superman. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. Reality TV yeah. star of the night, yeah. firefighter yeah. of the day. Yeah. I love that, I love that, I love that. <laughs> really, it's like I love that, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah, literally. I like Spider-Man when he comes in at night and just literally. goes, <laughs> all he hears upstairs. <laughs> I know, like, I'm telling you, I'm like, where are you? I'm like, literally, I just hear the door close and then I look out the window, he's gone. I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm like, back Man, you just see them disappear. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where's he gone? He's just gone. Like. Yeah, but it's so crazy. But, um, yeah, going back to your question, we had we did have a lot going on um, in terms of that. We mm. had a, a lot of stuff that we had to sort out, and it was, as, as I said, 
we was off. Uh, we both went off with with basically stress yeah. um, to sort things <clears throat> course, out. Yeah. Opportunity came along and was like, you know, you, you're gonna get like a free holiday south yeah. of France. Yeah. You know, relax. To yeah. relax. Yeah. Yeah. Every, yeah. Everything yeah. sort of paid for. Like it's it's on Netflix. We yeah. were like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's go. Yeah. Just yeah. Off. And then we just yeah basically took in uh, all the opportunities. You know, we was ourselves on the show as everyone um you know everyone saw anyone that knows us that's just even met us for one day yeah they kind of say oh my god you two have been the same the whole way through mm. yeah literally yeah it was um energy piece. energy was all the same man. yeah it was just real exactly we're just being, yeah. Our, yeah. Be ourselves, it? That's all. Yeah. Our, our work colleagues have all been supportive as yeah. well and mm. said like yeah like you know whatever happens if you do end up finding a new opportunity go for it you know yeah. um so yeah but it'll be a shame to obviously leave the job but yeah, you kind of got to look out for number one. Yeah, thanks. yeah. Thanks. Any more dating shows? <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Would you do it? Would you do any more? I'm nothing lined up at the moment. Mm. Um, I feel like I personally would. We per we spoke about it. Would you be open to it? Um, I don't know. I feel like we would probably love to. We would be probably open to it, but I feel like at the same time we want to start steering away from it and trying to get into like. Uh, other types of TV. Yeah, other types yeah. of TV. Like we'd love to like do different game shows and then you know just like mm. other just explore other yeah, avenues just and have TV. Fun and, with it, really. yeah, yeah, fun yeah. stuff and then yeah, and just maybe and obviously in the end goal is probably to have our own like you know our own, our own like little podcast or our own little show as well, our own TV show. Yeah, and then we can yeah. have like our own like you know celebrities on there and we can have like our yeah. own like talk show and stuff. And now I think that would be wicked. Oh, you need to start mm. podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah, in your footsteps, you know. Yeah, cool. Onwards and the upwards, boys. Thank you for so real, much for joining dude. me on the show. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Nah, catching up with Kaz and Kieran was honestly the best. Their energy. Everything I need to go on a night out of those two. I have to do it. But yeah, whoo. Kaz on his relationship with Diana. I, I don't know. Is it happening? Is it still there? It's up for you to judge. Now I'm back next week with Nina and Diana in the studio, and I'm gonna grill them both about their relationship status. So I'll see you there. <laughs>